Hello, welcome to this video. For some time I've wanted to get more into plein air painting, so painting outside with minimal equipment. And I bought in the past wooden pochard boxes. One of these is here in front of me. This one doesn't have any legs on it, so it's not an easel. I bought an even bigger one, which did have legs on it. But it was so heavy that it's sort of a disincentive to go out. And you can see that this one sort of opens up. It has a place to put your canvases in or, or supports. And a tray at the bottom for your paints and stuff. And the palette in the top there to mix your paints on. But I haven't used this one. You can see it's very new. Uh, and this was heavy too, but of course didn't also have the added benefit of the the legs. So it's you have to sit somewhere with it on your lap or whatever, or rest it on a rock. So it's just not very practical. So I've been watching YouTube videos for quite a long time. Um, and I've seen sort of a, a, sort of a bag that sort of acts like a, a soft pochard box. It's made by Etcher. Um, and I've ordered one from Jackson, so I'm going to open it now and see what it's like inside. It arrived today. And that's just Slate Mini, this is. Um, so I've done lots of research online. Seen a few people on YouTube talking about them. And it just seemed a sensible idea to me. It was much lighter weight more flexible and also had a, a fixing on the base to allow you to attach it to a, a camera tripod um, which seemed quite a sensible thing again because metal camera tripods tend to be quite lightweight there are bigger ones that they make etcher um, but most of the reviews say that they are too big and heavy again so I wouldn't have gained any benefit from having that. So here it is, first look at it. Seems a good Velcro. Place to put your support or sketch pad, or I suppose if you're a digital artist, your, your tablet. Front pocket for something or other, I'm not sure what. Again, it looks like it's got a waterproof zip on it. So. It is supposed to be waterproof for the great British weather. This is the back plate, which seems quite firm and has got a, an attachment for a camera tripod. So I should be able to attach it to a tripod. Although I have seen people use the straps that go in these hooks here at each corner and people resting it against the, their front and, and painting in front of them. So that might be a possibility as well. Oh yeah, so it's firm because it's got quite a big area of quite firm plastic in there. I presume if you weren't going to attach it to tripod, you could take that out using that zip, which again would make it more lightweight. So let's have a look. This zip again, a waterproof zip by the looks of it. So here we have it. Don't know what's in here. This looks like the strap with a shoulder pad, which is going to be great. So that will allow me to adjust the length, I presume. I'm not sure how that works. But I presume I can lengthen it somehow. Oh yeah, like that. So I can lengthen it and I can put pad on it and then attach that to the sorry the other side the hooks here and here um, to allow me to, ca to carry it and this is so much lighter than even that small wooden one that we just saw there. Ah so we've got clips which is it's all velcro this by the looks of it so you can move things it's quite a flexible space so this would allow me to hook the sketchbook in place. I presume these allow you to put pens, paintbrushes in here for when you, yeah, perfect job. So obviously you could arrange these to any size of, of 
uh, sketchbook that you might have up to the size of the, the sleigh itself. So yeah, they all move. We've got a bag here for other stuff. I'm not sure how you get into that. I presume there's a zip somewhere. Oh, there it is. So, yeah. And of course, opening this as well, I presume, gives you more surface to put stuff on, like water or liquid. I presume that totally detaches. I won't detach it now. Again, yeah, not sure what that's for, but I'll work it out as I go on. I've seen other people use magnets on this as well to, to attach things and bull clips. So I'm quite pleased with that. It looks like it might encourage me to get out there and actually paint in the Great Aunt Tours. Whether it actually does or not, I don't know. It was quite pricey. I got it from Jackson's in the UK, which seems to be the reseller in the UK for it. And it was £129, I think, something like that. So it's not cheap. But I'm hoping that it will encourage me to go out and do some painting on plein air or even just drawing to start with. Maybe I'll just take it for some sketching. Okay, so I'll hopefully do a video of me actually using it at some point in the future. But I just thought you'd like to see how this works. Thanks for watching. Please take the time to subscribe or comment. Do you own one of these? Let me know if you do and how you use it. Is it a good purchase or have I made a mistake? Um, do subscribe to the channel as it's a very new channel and I'm trying to get it up off the ground. I'm not an expert artist by any means, but it's more about me looking back at the videos and, and learning from myself and my own mistakes really, rather than being a, a perfect master artist or anything like that. So if you're a similar beginner, um, do get in touch. We don't seem to have had any comments on the videos yet, but if you do comment, I will reply. So look forward to hearing from you.